Hello and welcome. Today uh, we are recording another podcast. Uh, it's a kind of a mock interview where I am the interviewee and Rajat will be interviewer and he will be asking one uh, you know uh, embedded coding uh, question to me and I will be you know solving that question. So go ahead uh, Rajat uh, yeah. Yeah. So welcome all. This is another one of the bit masking and uh, bit shifting interview question. So today we have a very interesting problem. And so the problem is that you will be given an integer n and your task is to bitwise swap the pairs. So mm-hmm. when I say you have to swap the pairs in bitwise, what I mean is, for example, let's take the number 45 and its uh, binary representation is one zero mm-hmm. one one zero one. So we have to start from the least significant bit and start swapping the pairs. So what it means is the first, uh, so if I look at the, on the right hand side, the first pair is zero mm-hmm. one. So I will swap it to one zero. Then I will come back. Next pair is one one. So I will swap it to one one. Next pair is zero one. I will swap it to, oh, sorry. Next pair is one zero. I will swap it to zero one. So okay. you have to swap the integer in this form and return the integer. Hmm. Okay. So and Rajat, I think I your function signature looks like swap hmm. adjacent bits, and you are given an int n. Yeah. Okay, so I haven't actually read the question, so I hope uh, you know, whatever was explained in the question, you have already explained me. Right. Yeah, you can uh, you can spend some time uh, reading if you want. Okay, so you are given integer uh, number of swapping given bits of n in its uh, binary representation with its center bit of the right, assuming that the least odd bit. Okay. Uh, okay, I I think uh, you know it's similar to what you explained. So uh, let's say that so there is one case that I'm you know uh, right out of my mind that. Uh, let's say that you know the the number n contains uh, let's say three bits. Uh, okay. In that case, like uh, what would happen? Let me know. Like, is it like you are replacing let's say uh, zero is as it is, and then the these two least significant bits will be replaced with each other? Is that correct? Uh, so uh, the integer has thirty two bits, right? We let's assume it's a thirty two ah. bit architecture then it's at 32 bits so if there are okay. if you have the binary presentation is only three bits that means rest of the 29 bits are zero ah okay 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 so even if let's say you know this number is just a 45 number yes yeah. it has all the zeros in the uh, yes know, on, on the msp side right all these yes. un- until uh, 32 bits yes right okay yeah okay i got it now uh, okay, and then uh, okay. Anyway, like I don't have to worry about what is the size, uh, the number of bits in the end now. Yeah. It's always thirty-two. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, so I think what what I'm thinking here is that I would, uh, you know, I would need to you know extract out those two bits out of the entire thirty-two bit now you know integer, and then identify what the, those bits are and then replace uh, each uh, bits with another bits. Uh, and then what I typically do is I would go ahead and, you know, uh, replace that newly, uh, you know, replaced uh, bit with the, uh, you know, whatever position in the number, right? Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is that, let's say, I want to replace two bits, these two bits. So what I will typically do is, I will have some some mask, uh, you know, formed. Okay, I'm getting a call. Okay. Uh, let's say this is my mask. So I want to replace last two bits, right? So what I will get is uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, right? And what I typically do is that let's say this is what I got. Then I identify uh, with, let's say, uh, you know, I will do it, uh, do end operation with 0x1. So I know what is the the least significant bit. And then what 
I can also do is uh, this one. So I will do uh, one zero, right? In this case, I am typically using two. So zero x two, yeah. Yeah. So this will give me the the bit zero, right? Yes. Uh, and this will give me the of you know bit one, which is at the bit position zero, right? And then typically I replace. Uh, you know each other or swap each other and then what i typically do is uh, replace you know go back to the same position right so now the bits i have would be one zero then i you know do uh, typically right if right shift it by the number of uh, let's say you know some position some some value let's say and that value would come out to be whatever position we extracted those bits uh, initially from right yeah. and then what i typically do is i do the mask uh, of like whatever will or whatever number it's n right so i do n and whatever mask i have so in that case i will do is what i will do is i'll negate the mask to the end operation with the negative of the mask negative of the mask and then that would give me like that would clear those two bits right okay and then i typically do is end of uh, you know whatever value i received here right this okay. would be let's say i call it as temp then i end with temp so this will be my final response i will be returning that uh, number yeah so i th i think uh, you know i hope that uh, my explanation explanation made sense to you yeah and then i can go ahead and write down some code uh, as well yeah okay okay so okay so uh, so first what i need to do is to identify which two bits i need to swap so i'll start with the zeroth bit right uh, and then i'll go until 16th position because i'm i know that the uh you know the here assumption is which is whatever assumption that you have already told me that n is 32 bit bits wide okay. okay uh okay let me complete the sentence wide so here uh what i need to do is to extract those two bits out of the number n right so what i can do is let's say i have int then what do i call it uh int uh let's say mask or not not the mask let's say some value i i'm not able to figure out what should it be so let me call it temporary then so the temporary would have i'll come back and you know you know change these uh, variables name yeah but right now i'm just focused on the algorithm part so temp and and uh, whatever so i'm extracting those two bits so what i'll do is uh right shift n with i so in the first case it will be zero and then i do end operation with 0x3 so i'm typically extracting two bits okay right and uh, what i do is so this is essentially my mask so i can call it as mask as well int mask is 0x3 this is essentially right uh, 0b11 right yeah. uh, now what i do is i replace this with mask uh, Okay, this should be correct. So I kept those two bits, and then I typically swap those two bits. So swapping would uh, hmm. um I'm wondering if there is a trick to swap those two bits. Let me uh, check. Like somehow do some bitwise operation and swap those bits without extracting those bits. So if I do uh, one one zero zero, I don't care. One zero. In this case, if I do 
XOR with one. Uh, so what, what I'm typically, typically trying to do is, let's say I have, like there are four possibilities, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1. So in these cases, I don't have to worry about if I do end operation with 1, 1, or if I do XOR operation with 1, 1, what would it return? It would return 0 and 1, right? It and if I do Will it return with, 0 and 1? Uh, because like 1, 1 is equal, right? So whenever the bits are equal, it would return, uh, it would again return 0, 1, 1, 0. Yeah. Uh, okay. Ha, huh, okay. So that, that is what I'm trying to do here, yeah. right? Oh man, this, I, I was just uh, throwing like arrows in the darkness, but it somehow... Uh, you know, landed right. So let me, I think this one would be zero, zero. Uh, this would be one, zero. Oh man. No, it won't work because in this case, it is also the same. Yeah. Right. Because what I needed was zero, one instead of one, zero. Yeah. But this, so in both cases, it would return now one, zero. Okay. Anyway, I think I need to go with some uh you know some complex way so let's Why? say but, uh, you, you already accomplished right when you XOR yes. it with one it will talk, it will stop the bits uh when i XOR with one 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 no, you already work. accomplished right you wrote an example right ha huh, let me go back okay i somehow discarded that so in yeah. this case but i need it with zero zero not one one Ah, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. So this is uh, zero. Oh man, nice. I was throwing the arrow in the right direction, but uh, <laughs> man, okay, okay. I think this seems to be a nice trick then. Okay, and then if if let's say I do XOR with oh man, this is all working out. So in this case, it will be uh, one one, right? Yeah. Oh man. Okay. So in this case, I don't need one one. I need zero zero. And in this case, I would need. Uh, so this would return zero zero. So I tip essentially don't need these two. So what I can do is if if temp. Uh, yeah, I can save some instructions here, but not everything. So if temp and 0x1 is equal to is equal to temp i'll right shift shift it by one and then do 0x1 so what i'm trying is i'm comparing those two bits right yeah. these two bits essentially if these two are equal i don't have to worry about if these two are not equal i need to swap so that's where i do the temp xor how do you do XOR operation? This is the way, right? Yes. Uh, and then do the mask, mask. So I think then my temp is essentially has those two bits swapped now. Okay. Right. And then what I need to do is go, go back to the right place in the end and then replace those bits with, uh, you know, corresponding bits. So what I do is, uh, N and Okay, I need to remove those two bits from the mask first from the end. Okay. Okay. Okay, instead of removing, I just do XOR with one one in those two bits. But that would not work because then, okay. So what I am trying here is that I'll need to clear those bits in the mask. Uh, first, okay. Uh, okay, mask and I. Right, so this would clear those two bits from the mask. Okay. So mask right shift, I mean right uh, left shifted by I. So here the mask would be I will be zero initially. So mask is one okay. one, and then uh, so the one one and then if you negate 
then it is all one except first two bits as zero. Yeah. And then if I do the end operation, that would clear out that those two bits in the end. And uh, okay, it's, since I have already cleared those two bits, so now n or temp and anyway temp is already equal to mask. So if I do this, it should work now. Ha. Uh, yes. Okay. Um, then if I'm trying to add some spacing here. I think this is n. Okay. I think okay. I I think I have done it for n is i is equal to zero. Let me check for i is equal to one. Right. So I think my algorithm is seems to be complete. Uh, but I need to you know check it for other cases as well. Okay. So let's say that uh, my n i is one. So then n is right shifted by one into two. Oh man, I need to right shift it by two. Hmm. I uh, so whatever is int shift uh, i star two, okay. and this would be shift. And then there is no shifting here. This is where I'm using shift. Like instead of uh, doing that, I would have done i is equal to i plus two here, but then I chose to add another variable here. So okay. But uh, would it be a problem if you do i is equal to i plus two above? Uh, mm, okay. Initially i is zero, then i is two. So I write shift it by two. Uh, then I think it would not be a problem. So what is anyway, the width of the integer? Let let me go that way. Let me go that way. Let's say I'm doing i is equal to i plus two. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, plus equal to two. Uh, so then temp is i, shift is i, and then this shift is i, this shift is i. Uh, now let me go through it. So this is i not n. Okay. Uh, so let's say i is zero. I is zero shifted by, and I'm assuming some example. Let's say zero one 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 uh, one zero. Okay. Uh, let me take zero one zero zero one zero. Ha uh, one zero. That's fine. Uh, so initially, let's say these two bits are. I'm trying to extract these two bits or swap these two bits first two bits. So yeah. i is zero. So right shifted by zero, nothing happens. Then end with mask, which is three. So then these two bits are subtracted. The temp will have one zero, that is two. And then temp and zero uh, x one, temp right uh, shifted by one. So I just right shift and get this bit and then do end with zero x one. Then I check if these are not equal. Only then, in that case, I'll perform the XOR operation uh, with the mask, which is one one anyway, and then do this temp. So temp is temp and mask. So it it would essentially be one zero now, right? One yeah. zero. So now my temp is this, and then what I do is n. Uh, so let me start with here. So mask is one one. I right shift it by zero, so it still one one. Then negate it, so it will all bits zero except last two bits as one. Right? Okay. No right. Me... It will be opposite, right? Uh, hi. It will be opposite. Sorry. Yeah. All bits are one one except last two bits. Yeah. So that it it clears out those two bits, and then temp, I right shift, temp is right shifted, which is one zero, by zero, and then perform the uh, or operation. So that is fine. So two bits are swapped with I think one zero, and then let's say my temp is zero zero. So in that case, I need 
i is i is plus 2 so now i is equal to 2 here right so i right shift it by 2 so these two bits are uh, you know like okay you know removed and then only two two bits zero zero is there mask is again the same i don't need to update that so and then i compare those two bits again yeah and then if those two bits are not equal i need to go back here i need to else what i need to do is continue i think that was the problem i guess that's what you were saying is that's that is that correct? the problem okay and then let me so it's continues so i is i plus 2 so here i is now 4 and now i need to right shift it by 4 and then mask whatever mask is so temp and then i'll check those two bits temp temp and mask which is again 101 uh okay in that case mask is again right shifted by 4 and i'm clearing those two bits here i right shift by 4 negate so that only those two bits will be zero and then do the end operation so zero zero and then n is equal to this then what i do is uh, temp is again this so i'll move it by four and then do xor operate like or operation so then these two bits are again swept now if uh, i go further then then my all the bits will be zero zero so yeah. then i don't have to worry about like it will keep continuing here okay and then i return nine so i think uh, this should be correct so uh, okay so if you look at your for loop what is the maximum mm -hmm. number of iterations that for loop will work for this will go for and ah it's 32 man i think this is what you were saying okay yes <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, yeah, you know, mistake happens. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to do, I want to see one thing. So I, in middle, you had an idea that you will replace in, in place in end rather than doing all this masking, huh. making it zero. Can you try that? So, okay. So what you were saying is that if I do the like that in place was uh, easy if i had like uh, these operations would have turned out to be one one and this operation would turn out to be zero zero so i again need to uh, take care of these two like uh, those two no, bits and I, that is fine but you don't need line number 40 and 41 then right uh, you can 40, ideally replace 40. all of that with only one operation hmm. anyway i need to clear those two bits and then clearing would again be uh, okay. I don't need to clear those two bits. We, okay, we so now I think we already established in line number twenty four and twenty five, right? That if you XOR it with one one, it it will swap it. Right, so right. Why, yeah, need, yeah. why need to clear it? Okay, okay, sure. So what I can do here is that I think now we are even trying to reduce the number of like even these uh, linear operations. I, yeah. I I think we are in the like we, we are going to improve the code, I guess. So let me do that then. So if uh, let's say I need I don't need to swap here. Uh, I guess like I don't need to extract those two bits. Okay. So let me like instead of removing the code, let me you know just append it here. And then if the code goes right. Appending new uh, algo. So, what I do is I typically do uh, so whatever my n is n and uh, I'll write shift zero x or temp with let's say one or let's say i. So initially zero temp is so I typically comparing those two bits extracting out those two bits so i don't have to extract out those two bits why what i typically do is and 
zero x one. Uh, right shift it by this. So what I'm trying here is I need to compare those two bits only, right? Yeah. Whether those two bits are equal or not. So this is I am comparing the ith bit and then i plus one. I think initially zero, so zero and one, and and mm, one and then i plus one. Okay. Okay. I don't know the uh, since. Okay. I yeah. So since i plus one has I think uh, lesser uh, precedence over a right shift, so I need to i plus one and then use the bracket here. So this is typically comparing those two bits. So if those two bits are equal, essentially I'll do continue. Else, what I typically do is and uh, XOR. Okay, XOR is this operation. So is equal to and XOR. Now I need to do some magic here. Uh, what I typically do here is that uh, I need to go to those two bits first. So my yep. mask will be, and then I is the one. Ah, man, this is nice. So I think, oh man, this is nice. I think this is my new algorithm. Like yeah. I can, uh, this is significantly smaller than that one. Yeah. And then, yeah. This is a second approach, and this is. I think I need to remove this part here. So, uh, this is my first approach. Yeah. Oh, nice. I, I need to at least uh, check if this is correct or not. Like, yeah. it works on the uh, initial case or not. So let me check if let's say the, I'll take the same example here as well. Okay, I did. Okay, I don't know. Let me take this example then. Uh, okay, so initially I do zero one, do i is zero, and then i is one. Uh, right shifting it, uh, you know, right shifting the one with. Uh, zero and one, so like extracting zero and one, so both are not, both are equal. The continue, so these are not equal, so I won't continue. And then the mask Will goes to those two bits. Sorry. Will both be equal? Yes. So these will not be equal here in this case. No. Let's say if they were zero zero, uh, will okay, uh, okay. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I need to at least right shift it by. Okay, uh, these will never be equal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, man, I need to take care of that as well. So what I can do here. Uh, okay. Hmm. And then at least right shift it by one. So what Whatever I have calculated, uh, this is a bit. I think this extracted that one bit and then right shifted it by one. So now it should be equal. Will it be? Uh, so what I'm trying to do here, let's say I'm extracting these two bits, right? Okay. So initially, this will do what it, it will do is it is, let's say, four. So i is for here. So this extracted uh, right shifted by four. So this is zero. And then, so this is zero. And then all other bits are zero, right? Okay. Uh, so this is bit I'm trying to, and then there is a next bit as well. So there are four bits zero. And then in this case, I am right shifting i is equal to i plus one. So now i is five. So I essentially here is four, four, and now I what I do is I is equal to four. I plus one is five. Mm. So I'll right shift by five, 
then extract that bit. So okay. do the end operation with that five. Ha. Uh, with that fifth bit, so this would uh, turn out to be right. This is what it will turn out to be. So this is what I'm. This is the bit I'm trying to fetch here. Okay. And then I right shift it by one. So then it would just remove this zero and yeah. have zero here. Yeah. I think it should be correct. Yeah. Because if those two bits are equal, right? Yeah, it is correct. <laughs> huh, it is correct, yeah. So if those two bits are equal, then anyway, like, uh, of course, I'm comparing the big number. I haven't right shifted them to a proper, you know, zero and one position. Which is fine, right? That's another that optimal position, right? You don't need yeah, to. Yeah. Yeah. So in that case, if it is equal, continue. Otherwise, do the masking operation on those two bits. I think uh, this is fine. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, any any yeah. feedback that you might want to share? How did I do? <laughs> Though, like, it, so, the yeah. only thing I would like to say to everyone is see, even see, if you look at the solution, once you read this solution, you will find that it's not very complex. But yeah. that's the thing with bit masking. You have to think it a lot to come to it a very simple answer. <laughs> hmm. It's not very apparent at the first. And yeah, the key, yeah. the key to remember all the gate operations is that OR sets a bit, and and, and along with not clears a bit, and XOR always toggles a bit. Hmm. So if you are in a bit realm, then XORing it one one it, it typically swaps the bits itself because you are actually toggling it. Hmm. Hmm. And I, th I think interestingly, like uh, somehow we we were able to reduce, you know, these number of operations to just two lines that I'm really happy about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Actually, if you write the negative condition, you don't even need continue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah. yes, that's true. Like even this would work because there is just one operation, man. Yes. Just a single line operation, okay. So, yeah, this should also work. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I guess the solution looks good to me.